I realized when I was in, 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 in Lima recently, and there was a Peruvian friend who was advocating that the Peruvian Chauvi, which, of which millions of tons, about five million tons a year, are turned into fish meal for salmon and pig and stuff, could be eaten by people. And uh, you know what? I've lots. I've worked a lot in Peru, many years, and I have written books about the anchovies and stuff. And I never seen one. I never eaten one fresh. This was always fish meal. I always thought about fish meal. And you know this film Babbitt's Feast, where people eat and they become better people. As they eat, it is so good that that they become better people. You can see them floating around and, and becoming better people. Now, that happened to me in this Japanese restaurant, eating these goodies. And that was all made with anchovies. And we can eat them, and they make up one third of the catch, and it's now thrown away into the gullet of salmon, which pollute our water and ruin the wild salmon, which is not better to eat. Ain't that crazy? And that, she, she managed to get 30 chefs. They are as progressive here as you are here in Canada and uh, in Vancouver. She convinced 30 chefs to do a week where they would only serve anchovy. And an anchovy that all Peruvian know cannot be eaten. And and they all discover a marvelous food. And the president of the country ate some of these anchovies on, in front, in, on TV in the country, and it blew their mind because they had never thought about eating the anchovies themselves. And the value they would get out of these anchovies is 10 times to 100 times more. And they have been brainwashed into we cannot eat this fish. How about the omega, omega-3 amino acid? They contain all you need in this uh, good stuff and none of the dioxin uh, that uh, farm fish contain. That was my epiphany. We can eat these things and feel good about ourselves. And I stop here. Thank you very much.